What is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to flash this Evolution X 4.0 the latest build of Evolution X ROM based on Android 10 right now on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Well to be fair with you guys if you are still on MIUI well you have to do some different kind of stuff like it is not as simple as it was earlier well you have to flash the dummy image if you want to flash any recovery. Like if you're flashing a custom recovery, let's assume for the first time from MIUI, you have to flash a dummy image. Well, I will link the thread over here in the description box below. You can read and like follow this thread to flash the dummy image. Then you can flash any custom recovery as you would like. So just follow that thread, which is like being shown in the screen right now. Just follow that thread and like put the comments and stuff, extract that anti-4 bypass zip. You will find that dummy image and flash that from platform tools as you flash any recovery just flash the dummy image first and then flash any recovery you want if you can flash like twrp or you can flash orange fox i will recommend you guys flashing the latest orange fox recovery here as it is showing that like use latest orange fox recovery is recommended and the version is release 10.1 underscore 2 stable version so do use this recovery if you want to flash this latest evolution x i will definitely recommend you going with that i will also flash that i'm on the release 10.1 build of the like orange fox recovery so let's go you just need the rom file itself you do not even need any g apps or something to flash this rom so you don't need to worry about those no g apps needed for this rom and of course this is a redmi note 5 pro so if your storage is decrypted you do not even need to flash any f disabler or something like the redmi note 7 pro or the k20 pro so right now i'll just like straight up reboot to recovery well my power button is kind of broken again but let's go to the recovery i was on the havoc os i guess the latest build it was fine but let's flash the evolution x rom so as i just told you that i am still on the orange fox recovery but this is not the latest version let me show you from about this is the 10.1 version so what i'll do i have downloaded the latest orange fox which is this r10.1 underscore 2 stable so i'll just flash this first this is a simple zip file so i'll just select it and uncheck this reboot after installation but it will still reboot when you flash the recovery so let me just swipe to install just check this out and like this will just flash and reboot to the recovery itself one more time as you can see it says rebooting to recovery and it is rebooting you can even do this if you also have like any older twrp recovery not even you don't even need the latest orange fox or something like that you can even do it with the normal twrp recovery so for the first boot of the like new recovery it will show welcome to orange fox you just tap on right and you get the screen you can customize it from like this customization settings if you want to i'll just select this like white and blue stuff because it looks great on the screen on camera i mean and let me go home so right now you need to follow these steps well let me tell you if you're coming from me why for the first time go to menu and like from here go to this manage partition and just from here like select the data not usb storage select data and click right then from here just click on this format data and type yes it will format your storage and then you can flash any rom but i'm not coming from me why i'm coming from a custom rom so what i'm gonna do is i'll just go to wipe then select dalvi cache system and like data i won't select vendor i'll select dalvi cache system and data again and just like swipe to wipe once you wipe these things you are good to go and you can flash the rom straight up so i'll just go to home go to your download folder and this is the 15th january 2020 build of the evolution x4.0 for wired or redmi note 5 pro let's select this and i'll select this reboot after installation is complete so now you can like flash the rom and just wait for the time being and again you don't need any other zip files like g apps or anything you can flash magisk if you want to but it is not needed so currently it is booting into the system and the boot animation looks really cool also in the meantime let me show you that even on the redmi k20 pro i have been running the same rom which is this like evolution x version 4.0 and this is working pretty great i'll do a review of this rom pretty soon on the redmi k20 pro 2 so do stay tuned for that but this rom i have been enjoying it pretty much and like i find no issues with this rom it has almost everything i need 
so we will just focus on the redmi note 5 pro for now so let me set up the rom as it is showing me the setup kind of wizard so currently i am setting up the fingerprint let me test if it's actually working so yeah the setup is fine i guess we are pretty much all set so let's start from here this is how it looks after the first boot well the dark theme is enabled because i just like restored the like, previous settings from the google app data backup and stuff we have the heads up disabling option too so that's good and here to the left we have the google now cards well this is a pixel launcher and this is the like default apps you get not the uc browser though this is just like restoring from my app data backup i guess so this is the default wallpaper you get over here with a e or evolution x logo and let me just quickly go to the settings and show you the about section first in the android version you will see the evolution x logo up top and android version is 10 as you can see and the device is wired of course and the security patch here is the latest january 1st 2020 and the evolution x version is 4.0 the stock kernel is extended evo plus kernel and the build date again january 15th 2020 let me go back to the system we have a system updater over here so this is actually cool that it will work like whenever you are trying to update from this system updater it can update your rom like without you going to the recovery manually and flashing the latest build you can just do it from here and in the gestures we have the system navigation gesture you can use this two button three button navigation or you can use this android 10 gestures and in this android 10 gestures you also have this hide navigation bar pill you can hide this and use the full real estate of the screen so that is a really great feature in my opinion and also we have the like customizations including this xiaomi parts over here so if you go into here you can see there is the vibrator motor strength and the display color calibration option is there so that you can control the rgb of the screen and the saturation value contrast hue etc and here in thermal settings you will get the balance performance and battery gaming and extreme battery settings and we also have the me sound enhancer this should work fine i use it usually with the youth edition whenever i'm using a headphone jack with like connected to the 3.5 mm headphone jack and here we have the like preset option too for this headphone kind of things so the audio will be pretty good and in the evolution settings you will find all the customizations let me check the lock screen first yes we do have this always unlock with the fingerprint scanner so this is gonna be really great that you can definitely unlock with the fingerprint scanner whenever like you reboot the device you do not even need to enter your pin every time you reboot you can just tap the fingerprint scanner and it should work let me put the phone into silent and let's check if the like fingerprint scanner is working fine let's go to the gestures and enable the like status bar double tap to sleep and stuff well this is not working it seems like and from the lock screen as you can see the long press power button torch is actually working so this is really great as you can see you can just like long press the power button to toggle the torch here let's unlock with the fingerprint scanner and it unlocks so this is really great let me unlock one more time and here you get the unlocking speed right pretty fast i would say in my opinion it unlocked right away well the double tap to sleep is not working because you have to reboot the device once i have seen it even on the like k20 pro and stuff right after flashing the rom on the first boot some things like doesn't work on the first boot you just have to restart once to get every feature working so right now i just rebooted the device and let me just tap the fingerprint scanner and it unlocks well let's try the double tap to sleep now and it did work and we also have this always on display if you are noticing over here you can disable it i guess from the settings of course and the fingerprint scanner speed is working fine and even this double tap to sleep on the status bar is working fine the brightness control gesture is working fine here too so this is really great that the brightness control actually works so let me go back to the settings again and in the power menu we do have the advanced reboot options of course and the status bar options are there you can customize like anything on this rom that's not a problem you can enable this headset bluetooth etc icons on the status bar and then we have the status bar logo if you want you can enable the battery percentage and for the battery icon style you have the icon portrait dotted circle filled circle and text then we have the vaulty icon and stuff if you enter like insert your sim well i don't have a sim inserted here so right now it is not appearing and we have the auto height clock and stuff then the clock font size if you can increase it and even the font style you can change it to lg smart gothic etc and we also have a network traffic indicator if you need that and from here let me just quickly go back and in the notifications you can disable the heads up if you want to then we have the ticker 
and also we have this edge lighting for like quick notifications and stuff in the lock screen it will show like this on the always on display if you receive a notification so this is really cool let me just check if the three finger screenshot gesture is working yes it is working fine so that's cool and vibrate on connect is there like in call vibration options and blink flashlight on like incoming call is there so that's great too quick setting panel we have the vibrate on toggle touch etc header image you can enable it and then we get the panel opacity and quick setting column and row number customization is there and quick setting footer text etc is there and edit icon you can enable or disable it and from here let me go to the navigation so you have the invert layout option if you are using a two button or three button navigation and in the hardware buttons we have this kind of customizations in the animations we have screen of animation you can change it to crt or scale and then we get like multiple things like list view animation and stuff the whole ui animation you can customize it from here let me go back in the misc settings from here you have the wake up on charge disabling option then you have gaming mode charging animation option and usb configuration you can set it to like by default to file transfer so that will look really great i would say and then we have like dashboard customizations and stuff that's all with the like customization panel settings in the evolution x settings and here we have the battery settings and stuff so the battery life should be pretty good you can get five to six hours of screen on time i think with this rom in the display settings we have the night light etc lock screen display is there and you can disable the always on display if you want to save some battery of course because the device does not have a amoled display so with the ips display with always on display you will lose a lot of battery in the live display section we have the reading mode etc color calibration again and styles and wallpapers option is there and one pretty cool thing is you can change the clock style even like from here you can change on the lock screen too so this will look really cool like this if you set it if you apply it it will show like this in the lock screen so that's not a problem dark theme option is there if you want to enable it if you scroll down you will see double tap to wake let's check double tap to wake if it's actually working so yeah double tap to wake seems to work fine and it shows pretty kind of like cool animation over here in the accent colors we have the cyan pink and a lot of like accent colors even we have the evolution x blue red green and like this kind of accent colors if you want that and in the headline and body fonts we have a lot of fonts here like google sans pro and oneplus font and lg fonts and stuff there are a lot of fonts there icon shape and stuff is there so you can change that too in the sound settings if you go well the mi audio direct is present in the xiaomi part so it is not here but you can disable the screenshots or the sound and stuff if you want to then you can enable the ring notification alarm volume in the volume panel if you want to just like tap over here it will appear in the volume panel so this is a really cool feature of evolution x and i forgot to mention about the stock camera on this rom which is the miui camera here so you get almost everything you can install the gcam separately if you want to i'll put the link in the description box below so don't worry if you're someone who needs a lot of customizations and like on a daily driving i would say this is a pretty great choice for you guys on the redmi note 5 pro right now and that's how you can flash the home of course i have showed you at the like first part of this video so this was an early look on the evolution x version 4.0 on the redmi note 5 pro well i would say it is running pretty smooth and you can definitely try it on your redmi note 5 pro Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.